Snow tomorrow. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you are returning, you already know it. <laughs> You are fabulous. All right, so today's video, this is number six of our daily devotionals. So I have been doing the 365 day daily devotional by Sarah Young. It is called Jesus Calling. And it was something that I decided to do for myself that I just thought that I would share with y'all. I mean, it is, it's a really awesome book and I knew moving forward in my life with everything that has gone on, if you are not familiar with what's happened on my channel, um, you've kind of missed a little bit. So I'm going to leave those videos linked in the description box. And also, if you've missed any of these episodes, like one through five of the daily devotionals, and you'd like to go back and watch one of those, I will have those linked as well in the description box. But um, if you have missed... My little town was hit by a tornado, and unfortunately, my family and I lost our home. But we have been incredibly blessed, and we're doing fine, and we're going to be fine. <laughs> but like I said, I knew moving forward, I was going to have to get myself a little closer to the Lord because I knew I was going to have, you know, I mean, I know I'm going to have to lean on those verses and just, yeah. I knew it was going to take some some work, not just pray about it and hope everything works out. You know what I mean? Like, that's not okay. That's not the way this works. <laughs> this is serious. So, anyways, if you enjoy something like that, I hope that you will give this video a thumbs up. It definitely helps my channel. Don't forget to share it with your friends and family and subscribe. That would be awesome. Plus, hit that notification bell so that you can up upload. Why are y'all uploading? So that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. <laughs> I got all kind of tongue-tied just then. Anyways, all right, let's jump right into this. Okay, so number six. This is, um, this is a really, really nice one. I love everything that this one says. I just, it is written so, I don't know how to put it. Like, what's the word? Eloquently? I think that's the right word. This lady did such a great job writing this book. But anyway, so let me let me read this for y'all. I'll show it to you first. And it says January 6th. But, I mean, I've said this before. We're just going one through 365. I'm not actually doing it like the date. Because I only upload Monday through Friday. Alright, so it says, You can achieve the victorious life through living in deep dependence. Y'all, I'm reading the one from literally Friday. Sorry. <laughs> I had my book turned over the wrong way. Oh my gosh. I'm so blonde sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, scratch that. Start over. Okay. <clears throat> I am able to do far beyond all that you ask or imagine. Come to me with positive expectations, knowing that there is no limit to what I can accomplish. Ask my spirit to control your mind so that you can think great thoughts of me. Do not be discouraged by the fact that many of your prayers are yet unanswered. Time is a trainer teaching you to wait upon me, to trust me in the dark. The more extreme your circumstances, the more likely you are to see my power and glory at work in the situation. Instead of letting difficulties draw you into worrying, try to view them as setting the scene for my glorious intervention. Keep your eyes and your mind wide open to all that I'm doing in your life. Oh, gosh, y'all. I know, right? She writes so, so well. I'm, I just love the way that she does this. All right, so the verses for today... Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Ephesians three twenty through 21. The mind of sinful man is death, but the mind controlled by the spirit is life and peace. Did y'all hear that one? 
The mind of a sinful man is death, but the mind controlled by the spirit is life and peace. You want to be, you want the, the you want the Holy Spirit, you know, controlling your mind and helping you, um, stay positive and, and, and keep your eyes upon the Lord. I mean, yeah, that is, you have to, you have to strive for that. I'm sorry, but you do. You need to, to go and, and just dig with all you've got. If you are in a situation right now where you're miserable, then you need to be seeking the Lord. Like seriously, I'm telling you, I'm, I am coming from a place of, I've been at the lowest you can be. I am a sinner. I am a preacher's daughter. I have done, you know, awful stuff, y'all. But the Lord, I asked the Lord to forgive me and he did. Plain and simple. And that's all you have to do. Just ask the Lord to forgive you and then seek him. Ask him to be with you and guide you and help you. And, and like I said, just help, help you to stay positive and to stay seeking his face. And, to you know, um, I'm not perfect to this day. I still sin. And I told y'all a couple videos back, I don't even go to church like I should anymore. Um, I went through a little situation once and I just kind of got burnt and... I know that's the way the devil keeps us from going back to church. Trust me, I know. But I just haven't found my my church home yet, I will say. Anyways, but that I, that's no excuse. I still don't go to church like I should. But just because I don't does not mean that I'm not going to be still praying and asking God for his um, guidance and asking God for forgiveness every day because I sin every day. Everybody does pretty much. I mean, come on y'all. Let's be serious. If we're going to do these devotionals and we're going to get down to the nitty gritty, then let's, let's get there girls because this is just kind of stuff that needs to be said. I feel like, I don't know. Um, anyways, so yeah, just seek the Lord and ask him to, to be with you and just to, oh my goodness, just to control your mind. Y'all, I went through depression for so many years. It was so bad. And I went through one year of, of it where I didn't tell anybody and I didn't, um, I think that like a few people around me knew because I just, something wasn't right, you know, but I didn't tell it. I didn't talk about it. I didn't I was embarrassed. I was a hundred percent embarrassed. And then when I finally went to the doctor and started learning about depression and how it works and why it works sometimes and, you know, whatever, why sometimes it just clicks and you become depressed, you know, and there's nothing you can do about it. But um, the more I got to learning about that and begging God to help me, over time, I have learned to maintain. That's not to say that I don't ever have days where I just am not feeling it. You know, I mean, I do. I definitely do. But most of the time, I am trying to be positive and trying to be happy and um, shine for the Lord onto others. I want to show love and kindness and... um I don't know. I just want to be a good person, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, um, so not to get too deep, we'll leave it at that for today. How about that? Anyways, there's two more verses, so let me read y'all these real quick, and then we'll we'll be done for the day. All right. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 40, 30 through 31. Then I cried, then I heard every, let me start over. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and on the sea and all that is, th that is in them singing. To him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be praise and honor and glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Revelations 5.13 Sometimes it may be the hardest thing for you to do to pray 
if you don't know where to even get started, because I've been there before too, where I just, I didn't even know what to say. I was so, mm, I was very, uh, I don't really know how to explain it, but I have been there before where the only, I mean, I was so closed up and, oh goodness, just a shell of a person and completely engulfed in addiction and, you know, the depression and anxiety and whatever. And the only things I could get out of my mouth was Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. I, I didn't know what to say. I didn't know how to pray. I didn't know what I was asking for. I didn't know what I needed, but I knew I needed Jesus. So if you are there, just say Jesus. Just close your eyes and show God reverence. Bow your head and say Jesus. And I promise you the, the rest will come. I promise. All right. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I think I've already said it, but I'll say it again. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps my channel. Don't forget to share it with your friends and family and subscribe. Hello. That would be awesome. Plus hit that notification bell so that you will know each time I upload a new video. All right, guys. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. I do. I want you all to know how much I appreciate y'all being here with me to do this because it really keeps me accountable for myself and I, I, um, I don't want to stop. I want to make sure that I do all 365 of these. I, I really do. So, I love it that you guys are with me and that I love the comments afterwards. Like everybody kind of has a little discussion and, and I just, I love it. I think it is awesome. It is so, it's such a awesome little group, you know, to be a part of. So if you're really into something like that, subscribe seriously and be a part of this. Be sure you comment. Let us know you're here. Um, if you've got a prayer request, pop that dude in the comment section. I'm sure you'll have tons of people see it. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for being with me, and y'all have a blessed day.